Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is kind of be sort of like a little chitty chatty um, video while I talk to you about a couple of products. So um, if you're interested, stay tuned. And the products are anywhere from nail stuff to hair stuff to blush, all sorts of different things. So hopefully this topic is of interest. And if it is, stay tuned. Oh, hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know, many of you know that I have been the last couple of weeks, um, I've actually been sick. I have, I've had a, uh, an abscess tooth, I've had an earache, I've had an eye infection, so I had all of these different things going on in my face that made me feel really awful. The earache happened right before we were flying to Atlanta. I had to go see a doctor, I had to get on medication. Uh, my ear was killing me, and then shortly after that, I came back. I had an abscess, everything on the same side. I think it's all tied in, actually. So I had the abscess tooth, and my face swelled up, and it was like awful, awful. Anyways, the, um, the, oh, it's an old root canal that um, had a silver post in it. So they did the first part. They had to take it out and clean it out, and I know I think I talked about that. I go back on the... Um, it's a Tuesday the 18th or Tuesday the 14th. I go back in like two weeks to get the rest of it done and I'm like really nervous. So, um, but anyways, in my car vlog, some, some of you asked about the car mount um, that I had talked about in that car vlog that I did that I bought. So it is called a Universal Rear View Mirror Mount and I will link it below. I got it on Amazon and what it does is the upper part wraps around your rear view mirror and then there's a little casing that your phone can sit in and I believe it fits many different size phones. It's very affordable, it's very sturdy and that's what I was super impressed with. So that's what that is uh, for those of you that asked. Really, So one thing I really wanted to talk about was my hair. In my last video, and I want to thank so many of you for being so very supportive. In my last video, I showed you my toppers. And you all know that I wear toppers and I review wigs and things of that nature. And I just like having the different alternate, alternative hair. While my hair loss is not severe, it has definitely thinned a lot dramatically as, you know, I went through menopause and I'm 67. So it stands to reason in a lot of ways. I mean, some women are blessed with a full thick head of hair throughout life and some are not. And I'm just in the I'm not um, category. So um, I've tried many different things. I've tried many different hair treatments, serums, oils, shampoos, this and that and all of that. And I said, I'm not going to go through that anymore. I'm just going to wear my alternative hair, deal with my own hair the best I can. And, and that's what I've been trying to really do. But... I got um, approached by this company who had been watching some of my hair videos, and it's Creatine Hair Care. Um, when I first looked them up, I didn't see a whole lot about them, but I did look the company up, and I was really impressed because the products are made in the USA, and they're also cruelty-free. So those two things totally impressed me. I also like to support smaller companies and, um, you know, companies that are just starting out and things of that nature, not that this company is just starting out, but the things that impressed me was the fact that made in the USA and cruelty free. So I looked at it and I said, okay, I'll try it. So what they did is they sent me three, uh, three of their products. One is their intensive thickening treatment. And this intensive uh, thickening treatment, it's a spray. And the other is this intensive um, growth drops. So the growth drops are supposed to increase hair density. They're supposed to block the DHT, the DHT hormone that um, contributes sometimes to hair loss, while it increases the blood flow to your, uh, blood flow to your hair follicles. I use a boar's head brush on my bio hair. I brush my hair really well. Um, I try to make sure that I stimulate my scalp. But this is lightweight, it's a leave-in serum, it is supposed to nourish, and of course I'm really impressed because it blocks the DHT, I've not started it yet. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures when I'm done my video of my bio hair without any hair piece on, without anything on at all, so I can kind of track the before and afters 
The other thing that they sent me was this um, extensive thickening spray. So this extensive thickening treatment is um, something that you spray on your hair. It provides moisture. They say here it's going to give you thermal protection, creatine heal healing. It's lightweight. It is supposed to help boost the diameter diameter of your hair. Uh, it's also supposed to prevent hair strands, you know, from um, boosting the hair treatment, penetrates hair strands, sorry, to increase thickness over time. So while nourishing and restoring. So I really was impressed with the thickness over time because I thought that sounded really good. So um, that, and then there's also some hair vitamins. So they sent me two things. It is um, keratin, keratin Hair Growth Skin and Nail Supplement. There is 60 capsule in each bottle. It's got 16 natural ingredients. It's drug-free, sugar-free, vegan, uh, promotes hair growth. And um, I'm, I'm really gonna be, I'm gonna be really looking forward to seeing how this works. So I'm gonna start all this on my bio hair. I think the prices, I checked out their website I think their prices are really very, very reasonable. I'll link information below if anyone wanted to check it out. But I'll report back how I am liking this. I want to start it, and I'm going to start it today, and um, and then really just kind of follow my progress really super careful. Again, this was sent to me complimentary from Keratin. I didn't pay for it. Um, they, they're not paying me to do this video. I'm going to just check it out because... I like cruelty free, I like made in the USA, and I like something that maybe will help my hair because, you know, every woman, right? I mean, your hair is an important part of you and how you feel about yourself. So even though we don't like to let ourselves be defined by hair, sometimes it does happen. We do kind of go, oh, I have a bad hair day, and I have a lot of bad hair days. So. I had bought when I was in Ulta, I did like a mini little Ulta haul, I have to show you my sneakers. I had bought these Dashing Diva gloss nails, uh, not nails, polish. So it's an Ulta Shine gel palette. Uh, it says it lasts up to 14 days. There are 32 gel strips in a package. They're nail strips, you put them on. I've opened up one, I've, I've used one. I haven't opened up this one. I just think this is such a pretty color. I just, I know it's not gonna pick it up, but it is really pretty. It's got purple, it's got shimmers, it's got a really nice design. I thought it, the design totally appealed to me, as did this one. And I'll tell you, I used them. They lasted all of but one day for me. I kid you not one day so I had to change cameras because I lost my battery all of my batteries in the other camera anyway so I put these on I was so excited it took me a while because I've never used the nail strips before like this um, I have used the color street that I got from Marlene Fab and Glam and I really like them. A lot of you complimented my nails in the videos that I had them on. But then when I was in Ulta, I saw these and I said, ooh, I just thought they were so, so pretty. Really pretty colors. And uh, so I bought them. And, um, and like I said, they last, I put them on. Maybe it's user error, I really don't know. But by the end of the first day, on, with these nails on, with the nail strips on, they started to lift. And I'm thinking, well, I have dishes to do. I'm going to take a shower later. I wondered how they were going to last because I don't put gloves on when I do my dishes. And I certainly don't put gloves on when I'm taking a shower. And I'm really worried about, you know, getting any kind of a nail fungus if you get water build up and all that stuff. So um, by the end of that day, I took that shower. I came out of the shower and my nails were curdled. They were. So I just took the edge and I just peeled them all off. They came off so stinking easy. I couldn't believe it. So for me, the Dashing Diva nails, while super pretty, and I'm, very, I'm a very visual person. Like I was really happy to be in the store to actually see the colors, to decide. And they were very affordable. I think they were like $8.99. And then, if, then I had a coupon, you know how Alter is, right? So they were very affordable, and I could see that there was a ton of nails in here. There were 32 nail strips in here. You can mix and match the design, and I really like that a lot. Sounded easy. 
affordable, pretty, pretty colors. On me, they just did not last at all. So I went back to using the, I, the basically the Color Street, and I buy them off of Molly, and I'll link her channel before. I just placed a second order. The first time I put the Color Street on, it was a little bit difficult for me to get it on. You know, it was the very first time doing it, but then I got it on, and it, I think it lasted me almost two weeks, and I have bare nails. I don't have fake nails, so it went on my bare nails. And I bought, I have another, um, I think I have another package, but they're open, so they're in the refrigerator. But I bought uh, four of them initially, and one is like all just silver glitty, glitterly, and the other is multiple design. You can see from what I have on my hands. And I really like them. They lasted. They stayed on. And, you know, I thought, well, okay. Even though these, I loved seeing it, how pretty they were. And these I had to order and take sort of like, okay, are they going to be as pretty in real life? I, um, I'll tell you, these, these work really well. Once you get the hang of putting them on and you, you put them on nice and tight. On some of my nails, like for this, this one, I have two different color strips on. So when I added a second color strip on top, I only did the half so I could do the nail. These have been on my nails for over a week. And they're still doing really good. They're not lifting anywhere. They're not. Um, they're not broken. They're not coming off. They're doing really super good. I'm. I'm so impressed with them. So I ended up buying more. I ended up buying three more packages, and I really love them. So when I set up, I'm going to show you a photo of when I set up. I usually just set up, and this isn't a brush holder I bought like at the cosmetic company store. I put it all in here, and I put it on here on my table because you're cutting or you're tipping. Um, you're bending the edges off and you might have some residue. And then when I'm all done, if I'm doing like a multiple layer where I have a tip of a different color on, then I just do some, and this is just the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and I just put that on. So these feel thin on my fingers, they feel very natural on my fingers, and they stick to my fingers. They're not curling or lifting. Whereas when I put the Dashing Diva ones on, the gel, the strips felt very um, thick, very thick, and they felt funny on my fingers. You know, even after they dried, so to speak, and they were on for most of the day, they felt really funny on my fingers. So, anyways, um, these I really like. So, I was talking to Marlene, I was trying to give myself a manicure, this is before I put them on, and I had pulled the other ones off, and I said, I said, you know, um, I was pushing my cuticles back, but I said, I, I chew my cuticles. Do you guys chew your cuticles? I chew mine. I chew my cuticles, and then I had all the skin was ripped and all that, and I said, I, I, can't, I can't put these nails on. My nails are too bad. And, and Molly said to me, Monica, take your Maku and put it on your cuticles. You'll wake up tomorrow morning, and your cuticles will be healed. I said, man, why did I not think of that, right? Because I use Maku all the time. I love this stuff, and I happen to have the 5,000 milligram also because I use that on my face, and, you know, use it to relax and to help me sleep at times, and Jay uses it. But I also had the 2,500 milligrams, and I said, ooh, so I did that. I put it all on my cuticles. I couldn't believe it. I woke up the next morning. Now, they weren't perfectly beautiful, like, magazine fingers or anything, but all the ragged, raw redness, the things that I pulled and chewed, I know this is horrible to admit on camera, um, was healing, was good. So, you know, I thought that was an amazing thing. So I love my Maku, absolutely love this. I just, it's amazing to me how many different uses I get out of this. I love this stuff. And I have a coupon below, 50% uh, off, so that's an amazing sale. And um, I use the 5,000 milligram on my face, everyone always asks. Certainly can use this on your face. I would use that if I was out of my 5,000. But I use that on my face on my trouble spots. I really love it. Um, it works really well, and I think the product is awesome. So, blush sticks. So I had got um, an opportunity to try... I have been wanting to do like a cream uh, blush. I have not bought one. I have powder blushes that I like, but I've never really tried a cream blush. And then I saw on the Octoly Network that they were offering an opportunity to see about trying and reviewing a cream blush. 
So I looked it up and I said, oh, you know, this looked really good. So I asked to be considered and I was accepted. And so they sent me this package of six. I thought maybe I would get one color, but they sent me every color this company has in these blushes, and they're also a blush and a lip duo, which I really did not understand. So this is, I'm going to pronounce it maybe wrong, but Palladio, P-A-L-L-A-D-I-O. These are their blush sticks, their combination. So Palladio um, has very much innovative new products. They're very trendy products. They're cruelty free. They're made without parabens. They're, I think, a super affordable price. I was surprised. A lot of their products are very antioxidant rich in vitamins um, and botanicals and anti-inflammatory. So I really, really thought this sounded really good. So I got these and I was like, six of them. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. I never expected six of them. But they're all different colors and they're very, very light. So I'm going to put this on my hand. I don't know if you can see what that looks like on my hand. But that is just a pretty, pretty sheer, sheer pink. Just a pretty sheer pink. And what I like about it is yes, you can put it on your lips if you want. But this color I really like and this one is, I'm looking for the color. I have to put my glasses on because it's written in such small light print, but this is precious. So the color precious, I really, I thought this was really cute. You know, you can go up, down, just like a lipstick, but I thought what a pretty, pretty color blush. So I really like this one a lot, and the other one I opened up is a little bit darker. But it's also very pretty. Just more of a, maybe more of a peachy tinge. Really pretty. I'm not going to put it on because I'll have too much blush on my face. But this one is called Lovely. So Precious and Lovely are the ones that I have opened and put on. And then I have... See another one that I opened, and this is dainty. I'm not dainty, but I really like dainty. So, dainty's on the bottom. I don't know if this is even picking it up. Dainty on the bottom, and precious. And of course, I'm putting it on my cheeks, aren't I? And I shouldn't because I can't really see what I'm doing, but. I was very impressed with this company. I was very impressed with these products. Now I've used this a couple of times. It's lasted on me pretty well all day. I, I didn't have I didn't have to retouch, but I use a setting spray. So without a setting spray, I don't know, but I like the fact that it's light and sheer and very, very moisturizing feeling on my skin. These three I haven't opened yet. I, I'm not too sure if I'm going to open them. Um, I don't want to open them unless I think I'm going to use the colors, but these three, I know I'll use the colors, and I really, really like this. So this was sent to me complimentary. I don't know if I even said this, but this was sent to me complimentary from the Octoly Network, from the company Palladio, Palladio Blush Sticks, in exchange for review, and I thought, I thought they sounded really awesome really awesome. So between the hair products, the blush products, the nail products, I can't wait till I get my other nail strips in because the colors I ordered are really, really pretty, really pretty colors. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see them. On my head, guys, this is Ellen Villa's Club 10. I am reviewing this piece for Wig Studio One. They sent this to me complimentary. I actually think this is pretty, 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 pretty cool. Look at the back. I like how it flips out. You know, it's a very stylish, very trendy. It's a timeless style, you know? And you can also comb it down flat if you want. Well, I don't want to comb anything down flat. I like a little bit of height with mine. And so, and I love the color. I think this is called Dark Sand Mix. I just think it's really pretty. So, other than that, I'm feeling much better. I do have my second um, treatment coming up. And I'm not looking forward to that at all. Not at all. Um, I'm just not. I, I'm still, my diet is going well. I haven't lost a whole lot of weight. I think I've lost about maybe six pounds now. 
and um, but I'm intermittent fasting more so than anything else. I've been trying on average I do about 17 hours. Um, some days 18, some days 16, but that's the average that I do. I drink a ton of water, but I think what's helping me the most is that apple cider vinegar gummy that I talked about a couple of times. I take two of those in the morning and I take a big glass of water and I, I'm not, you know, if it's breaking my fast, it's breaking my fast. I don't know, but I take it. And, um, uh, and I'm not hungry, you know, I'm not hungry. So by the time I break my fast, it might be might be around noontime, depending on what time I ate the night before, um, or 11.30, and then I eat, but my appetite is like, it's like not, not like it was. And then in the afternoon, I take two more of the gummies, chew them up really good, drink a lot of water with it, and come dinner, you know, I'm hungry, I eat, but I don't eat nearly as much. So with the gummies and the intermittent fasting, I think that's helping me with my COVID weight gain. I hope, I hope it's helping me with my COVID weight gain. Anyways, weight gain. Anyways, um, kind of chit chatty about a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, showing you some of the stuff that I got. I did go shopping. I got these funky sneakers. What else did I get? Uh, a Marshall's haul. I got these funky sneakers about the flowers behind me that I put in my. Um, my little corner over here in the bathroom. I just thought they were so pretty and I just kind of, as much as I love my hydrangeas and they'll, they'll be purple and they'll go back, I'll, I'll definitely put them in there again, but I just thought they were pretty. So I got sneakers. Um, what else did I do? There's something else I got and I just drew in a total blank on it. Um, aside from the, the nail things that I got now, so there was something else. But if it'll come to me, it'll come to me. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of share my little mini haul and have a little chat with you guys. And, uh, oh, I know what else I wanted to tell you. Um, I was using the City Beauty Ultra Firming Dry Oil. I mentioned this a couple of vid videos ago. And at the time, it was not available. It still isn't available. It does not go retail until May 9th. Um, but somebody had asked me how I was liking it. And so it's been almost a month now. And I'm not really noticing a super difference on the condition of my neck. What I am noticing is the skin, the way my skin feels. So I like how it feels a lot. Um, it's a dry, firming oil. So I'm going to keep using it. Um, but, you know, I can't tell you that it's made a big difference. I just like how it feels. It's expensive, but I'm going to keep using it. And then maybe, you know, by the time I'm done, I'll be able to report back and be, give you a more solid idea of of um, how I'm liking it. So anyways, I think that's it. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.